Hello, thank you for stopping over to my YouTube channel, clicking on this video. Today's video is as the title suggests. I'm going to talk about different ways to style sweaters, knitwear, jumpers if you're from the UK. Hey booze. Um, just because I know sometimes this time of year, I live in New York, between New York and New Jersey, it's really cold. So I know it's cold a lot of other places. And aside from just throwing them on with like leather pants or jeans, you want to know other ways to style these knit pieces. So I'm going to show you some new pieces because this also works as like a, let me show you what I've been, you know, picking up recently in the last couple of months and showing you different ways to style knitwear, whether you want to dress it up, dress it down, wear it to work, wear it inside, wear it date night, whatever, wherever you do, <laughs> different ways to wear it. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to jump right on into it. I guess I can start with the look I'm wearing now. This is not new. If you are not new to my channel, hey boo, thank you for coming back. You would have seen this sweater. It's from Zara maybe like last year, but I feel like they always have this. I always feel like I see it. Um, it's really tight. <laughs> it's cropped. Um, and I just paired it with some shiny, like faux patent leather, high waist, really long pants. So a friend of mine, she has um, a secondhand store. It's online and pop-ups called Second Touch, so I'll leave her information below. I bought these pants from her, and I really love secondhand shops and like thrifting because you can find pieces that are unique, and you know they're not just everywhere in the store right now. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but sometimes you know you just want something a little different. So I bought these pants from her, and I'll leave her information. If you're also into thrifting, secondhand shopping, she curates a bunch of amazing pieces for her shop. Um, and my jewelry is, of course, for my jewelry shop, Coco Made with love. These are gold fill. So these are my hoopla earrings. And this is the medium size. Also comes in a smaller and a larger. And my link up the necklace. Which is unisex. So you know anybody can wear it. So that's it for my look. I'll do a cutaway of my full look and all the looks that I'll be showing you as I show you all my new in knitwear, jumpers, sweaters. So let's get right on into it. Okay, so these first two pieces are the same color. They're from the same place, a place that I've never shopped before, but I feel like I've been seeing their ad, so I decided to give it a try, so that way I could test it out, let you know how I like it, and then let you know if it's worth it. The, number one, the prices are right. It takes a while to get here. I think they might be coming from China, I'm not sure. But the price is right. So I bought two orange sweaters. Let me just do this one first, because this one I've worn so many times, which means I've also washed it, so I can report to you have a wash this just in case you know you like something that I share here and you click on my link the links below some of them are affiliate links by the way some of them are not um, and you know I can kind of bet some of the pieces before you go and spend your hard earned money on it like I did so the shop is called Cider I don't know if you've seen ads on Instagram or anything or if you shopped there before but it's called Cider and I got this cropped I'll get to that I'll get to the crop part soon um, but it's like little neck thing right and I really love that detail because it's like, you know, classic sweater. It has a little bit of a cutout action with that whole neck thing, but not too much of a cutout. So I can wear this when it's still deep winter. And the cutouts, you know, that breeze is just too cold, too cold, too cold. So I bought this. First things first, I wore this so many times. So many times. I'm going to get a little closer. As you can see, it did get a little fuzzy because it is knitwear. Let's wait for it to focus. And, you know, it is a very affordable knitwear, so... It did get a little bit fuzzy. I don't know if you could even tell the little fuzzies at the top, but not terribly. Like, I wear my sweaters like this. I don't care. The color is amazing. I love how when I washed it, it's still a very vibrant orange. It's looking a little washed out on the camera because the windows are right behind the camera. So it's kind of bright. But when I get a little closer, you can kind of see, hopefully, that it is a nice, not quite burnt orange, but a nice pungent orange color. So... That's what I like about it, right? And I love how soft and cozy it feels. It's the true knitwear, like it's nice and soft and everything. I also love the detail on the sleeve. So what I don't particularly care about this sweater, and I also have a cutout of me wearing it, it shrank a little bit. So yes, I bought it cropped, but I did not buy it this cropped. <laughs> so the way I'm wearing it in the cutout is how it originally sat on me. And now, as you can kind of see when I put it against me, it's a little bit more cropped. Like, it's stretched out, it's shrunk a little bit, but I'm thinking as I wear it and pull on it a little bit, oop, got a little piece of hair, that it might get a little longer, but honestly, I'm not mad at this, I guess, crop length either, so I'll still, wear, I'll still rock this with my high-waist pants and, and skirts, but that's just something to note. I'm trying to think, did I dry it? I might have popped it in the dryer by accident. Usually, this kind of knitwear, I... I put it on the line to hang dry so this doesn't happen. 
but I think I accidentally popped this in the dryer the last time on medium. So that's probably why I shrunk up a little bit. But other than that, it looks great. The neck piece never stretched out. The sleeves or the, like, um, how it gets a little bit tighter at the bottom, that didn't stretch out because I hate when that happens. So, love this sweater. Again, Shop Cider. Enough about that. I don't want to take too long on these pieces. The next piece is from Shop Cider as well. And I saw uh, one of the fashion girlies on Instagram that I follow in regular wear. She posted this sweater and immediately immediately <laughs> I went and I bought it so I've worn it several times I don't know if I have a picture or video in it if not I'll just do one right after recording this and show you off to the side but it is a maxi cardigan and if you're not new to my channel hey friends you know you probably remember how much I love a maxi cardigan I have several because in the fall I wear them as outerwear jackets and in the winter time I just wear them as really thick knits so I love how long it is and I love the tassels at the bottom. Let me show you the details here. You see that? And it's just like the last sweater where it's a very bold orange, even though it's washing out a little bit on camera. That's a little bit better. You can kind of see the color. And this is the knit pattern of the front and around the sleeves. So as you can see, it's like a looser knit pattern. And then in the back, it's a little bit tighter. You can see the difference from the sleeve to the back. The knit patterns, um, you can kind of see through it whoop, just a little bit, but it's still thick, it's still very warm, it's still very cozy. I love this so much. So the versatility of this piece is amazing. So I believe it's still available, so I'm gonna link this, of course, in the description box. Don't mind me, I might be pulling up my pants throughout the video because I am actually going to take these into the tailors next week because it's a little big in the waist. Um, so yeah, oh, and the sleeve has like this cuff detail. Super cute, love it, and it's a long sleeve, which I appreciate because I'm a tall-ish girl. I got this in a size extra large um, because I wanted that oversized, cozy look and feel. And then this is what I got in a large, that's my typical size for tops. And I'm very happy with the extra large. If anything, I feel like there could have been a little bit more room in the hip area because when I do tie it with the belt it comes with, and they somehow sit on semi two, um, I wanted to be able to still wear it like a long wrap dress. But when I walk and stuff, the slit kind of opens in the hip area because it's not as oversized as I would have liked. So that's the only downside, and that's like not even really a downside, it's just very slight. I can't really, really wear it as a sweater dress by itself but if I put like a I don't know an orange slip dress or some other kind of thin line dress or shorts or something underneath then I could tie it up and wear it and be fine so I love this I love a maxi cardigan I love the different ways to wear it so I love it with cargo pants or wide leg denim mom jeans boyfriend fit jeans with like either a very tight top like a turtleneck or you know what how I want to wear it but I don't have it yet so like my green my greenish color cargo pants and like a green, very lacy, almost like lingerie bodysuit. And then this over it, I feel like the greens and the orange goes together and the juxtaposition between something very, you know, rough and ready, tomboyish, and something girly and dainty in the lace. And then this oversized cozy, I think the tomboy plus the dainty lingerie plus the cozy is a cute look with some like silver heels, pointy toe heels. So cute. So if you follow me on Instagram, which you should, Coco with Love One, once I get that green lace bodysuit, because I'm on the hunt for one at a good price, you'll see the look over there. So follow me there for other ways to style all the pieces I'll be showing you. So again, this will be linked in the description down below. Description bar down below. I also love that I can wear it to work with some jeans and some boots casually. So I can dress this up, dress it down. I can wear this out on a date night with like a slip dress because I love slip dresses and this is one way to wear it in the winter is put something very, very thick and cozy knit over it. So that way you're not cold, but it's still like a sexy silhouette. So enough about this. I'm trying not to make this video too long. Let's move on to the next pieces. Okay, so along with showing you the new pieces I got in, I also wanted to show you the price of stylist. So you already saw some ways I styled those other types of knits, which was with a crop sweater with a little cutout and a maxi cardigan. Maxi cardigan is my fave. I feel like that's a classic staple for me because of my style. Um, another thing that I've noticed has been a classic staple for me, but I didn't have a lot of them. So I would keep wearing the same one gray one over and over and over again for like the last three years. Finally picked up some more is a knit skirt so back in my day in college and right after college 
I used to live in a knit skirt set, especially from Zara. They used to have them at a decent price then. <laughs> I mean, they're still an okay price. Um, I That plus the matching color crop top. Every time I went to the club, that's what I was wearing in the wintertime. Um, a maxi or mid-axi knit skirt and a cropped long sleeve top. That was my uniform. Fell off from that for a while, but now I'm creeping on back a little bit. But, you know, I'm elevating it a little bit more. Speaking of Zara, during their recent sale, which I think that'll be either the next video or the video after this, um, I'll show you some things I got in from the Zara sale, just in case you're interested. Um, maybe you picked up the same pieces and want to figure out how to style them. So I saw, while I was waiting in the fitting room line, this, I guess this on me, mid-axi knit skirt. Now, first off, the color drew me. Because I was looking for a knit skirt anyway. Again, because I can't keep living in the same gray one. Um, look at the blue. I'm trying to see the true blue, you know, so it's not too washed out. But it's a very beautiful, bluish, almost periwinkle kind of color. Um, I got this in a size large, which I'm usually an extra large in Zara Bottoms, but it was sale. So I got what I got. I paid $9.99, which is great. It was originally $29.90. And it only comes up to it a large. So, this knit skirt, I think this is a classic wardrobe. Ooh, this even looks good with this. Okay, I digress. Closet staple for me because, again, I like to go out in this cold, frigid, painful weather. And I don't always want to have to be wearing leather pants, jeans. Love them, they're cute, but, you know, I like to switch it up. So, I love how knit skirts is another warm way to... Styles, you know, to have other feminine outfits. I could wear this with, if I had the matching sweater, I'll wear that. I didn't see it, but maybe I could find a blue that's similar. I could wear this with um, a white or an off white or cream knit top. It doesn't even have to be the same style of knit because, you, as you can see, it's knitted in a way where it has these lines going down, which I love. Um, I could pair this with this. Like I said, if you're a girl that likes to. Um, you know, mix bold colors that people don't usually put together, like this red and pink stripes that's going this way, plus this blue skirt that's going down. I feel like blue is a very much a staple color, pretty much like how jeans, you can wear that with any top. I feel the same way about any other blue bottom or jacket. So, I would, I would wear this. This would be a cute maybe Valentine's Day look. Spice it up a little bit so it's not just only red and orange, I mean, red and pink. Um, you could dress this down with sneakers, maybe if you have some like high top sneakers, like I love a Nike blazer. You could wear that, or those leather or Sherpa or Sherling Converse's that are popular right now. This would be so cute with this, with a very big oversized jumper. Ooh, even a cropped one. So there's so many ways you could style this or wear this. I can even put this on with like a black turtleneck, a black blazer, like a fitted blazer, and boots. What else? I could wear this house. We could style this because it's not just for me. I'm coming up with ideas for you. Um, and I'll also, if I can't find this, because I probably won't be able to find this on the website, I'll link some similar knit maxi, mid axi skirts in the description box below. Um, uh, you can, yeah, wear this up, dress this down. Wear this with a hoodie, maybe like a graphic hoodie that has like a graphic on it, and then some sneakers or some combat boots. Ooh, that'd be cute with a leather jacket over this so many ways to wear this and because the color is so nice and in the springtime it's still a little chilly I could wear this in the spring this could be a cute Easter outfit with like a yellow top a pale yellow top light orange some other kind of like um, baby color or pastel color so many ways to wear this so if you don't already have a knit skirt or knit pants because I'm also I also like knit pants but I find it's hard to find in my length sometimes but get you a knit skirt fitted um, and some knit pants, so that way you can still be really cute, very chic, have really feminine outfits without always having to wear jeans and leather pants this time of year. So, moving on. Ooh, I'm so excited about this piece. I've had it for quite some time. And unless you follow me on Instagram, you did not see it, but it's another type of knit skirt. So this is more of a, you know, a flexible one. Dress it up, dress it down, dress it in between. Throw it around. You can wear this in the house. The next one, honey. She's cute. She's beautiful. She fancy. She's a little expensive. But it's this beautiful knit skirt from Hanifa. So Hanifa, if you're not familiar, she is a luxury designer. It is a luxury brand. Um, 
black women own amazing when I say amazing pieces they don't only look amazing they are amazing quality actually that orange um, maxi cardigan I showed you earlier in the video I'm pretty sure that that is like um, a dupe of that which you know really shouldn't be doing dupes of a black owned business but I buy what I can afford I buy what I can afford <laughs> Um, so I've always wanted to invest in a Hanifa piece because to me it's an investment because that's not typically the price point that I shop in. And now that I have the skirt, I bought it for my birthday. I told myself it was a treat to me. I need to go buy the matching top. I'll leave it in the description box so you can see it. That matching top. So I got this in extra large, but honestly I could have done with a large. Because as you can see, I'm holding it up pretty wide, ain't she? For me. Um, but surprisingly, you know, it still worked out. It's a little dirty. I'm not gonna lie. So this has fringe at the bottom. I'm gonna bring it close, but please do not judge it. I was walking around outside in the city. It picked up a bunch of dead leaves. I brushed out as many as I could without ruining the fabric. Now the rest is gonna be for the dry cleaner to figure out. Um, but it has like these long tassels. Again, please ignore the dead leaves. That's all up in there. And this is a substantial piece. Now when I say this is heavy, like my arms are getting tired. This is heavy. The knit is so thick. Like this is definitely wear in the winter wear. You can't wear this in the spring or you know whenever else. It is a very, you see that? It's a very thick knit. I love how like it's actually all layered all the way throughout. So it's like here's a layer. You can lift it up and there's another layer. So it's almost like ruffles but subtly. Doesn't look like it from afar. And it has this cutout detail. We have this what? I'm trying to hold it up. This loop here and then this loop here. So that way you get a little cutout action in the belly area. Again, I got this extra large. So I'm usually an extra large at the bottom. But this runs, to me, a little bit big. Plus, it's the way that it's knitted because it feels like it's hand knit and very substantial. So I feel like when you wear it, it also has give. It stretches out a little bit just because of the quality of the knit. Um, it's really long, so when I hold it here at not even my waist, my belly button, it's already touching the floor from here, not even the tassel. So the tassel is just dragging, hence why they look so dirty. So that's my only thing. If you're a short girl, you might have to take this into the dry cleaners or like a tailor and have them do some magic. I don't know if they need to take off a piece and then sew it back together to make it shorter because I'm 5'6", allegedly. Some people say they swear up and down I'm 6'8", but I think I'm, I mean, yeah, but I, no. I'm 5'6", but some people think I'm 5'8", but I tell myself I'm 5'6", that's what I th think I am. And this is already touching the floor before I get to the tassel part of the skirt. So keep that in mind if you wanna buy it, but I feel like where there's a will, there's a way. Okay, where there's a will, there's a way. So now I just need to find another way to wear it because yes, I wore this when it was my birthday. It was just like a regular black top because the matching top wasn't released on the website yet. It wasn't released until after my birthday because it came in two different waves. Um, it was cute with the black top, but yeah, it was very dressy, but it was my birthday, so it was fine. So now I'm trying to think, where can I go to wear this? I'm thinking Fashion Week because that's coming up. But with fashion, there's a lot of walking around. Well, number one, this knit, when I say it's thick, I'm going to be hot. And two, it's going to get dirty. It's dragging all over the floor, so I don't want to have to wear like sky-high platform heels just to wear this. Because fashion week, I don't want to be do that to myself. So, give me some ideas in the comments below where else I could wear that beautiful Hanifa skirt. Um, I love it so much. It's my favorite piece. And um, what I love about this investment piece, and I need y'all to feel it. I wish it was like a feel gram on YouTube. Um, it's so substantial, it's so well made that I'm going to be passing this down. If I have a daughter, if I don't, maybe a friend of mine will. <laughs> I don't know who's going to get it in the future. Maybe I wear it forever. But this is a piece, this is definitely a piece that you buy, you hold it, you wear it a lot, you pull it out years to come because it's a, it's a skirt with, um, was it horizontal stripes? It's classic. It's a classic color, classic shape classic style so no matter if it's 20 years from now that's still gonna be in the tassels may be trendy but because it's black tassels it's not gonna be it's not gonna look out of place um yes yeah, so i could wear that forever and pass it on down because it's such great quality
So, enough about that. Let's move on to the, my next piece. My next piece, I think I might wear to Fashion Week. I'm going to show you how I'm going to style it. Let me show you. Let me go get it. So, the next two pieces are both from ASOS. I love ASOS. Um, they are both sweater dresses, two different kinds. Oops, kind of, yeah, two different kinds. Because um, we went through the cardigan, we went through the cropped sweater with a little cutout, we went through knit skirts. So now we're going to get to knit dresses. So the way I usually have my knit dresses, I usually just call them sweater dresses. They're usually like almost knee length. I throw them on with leggings and boots and wear them to work or to the mall to run errands, whatever I'm doing. That's like my usual look for the fall and winter. But I was on the hunt for some sweater dresses that look different than my typical sweater dress options. Again, just like, you know, knee length, loose fitting with leggings or tights. Or, since I'm none and just thigh high boots, cute, but I want something different. So I was looking for short dresses, but that are easy to walk in because if it's tight, I don't want to have to walk and have to keep pulling, you know, you know the walk. You have to keep pulling it down. So this first one I found, well, I found them at the same time. Um, this is from ASOS. This is a size 12. I could have done with a 10 maybe, but the 12 works. Look at this hot pinkness. And I bought this, when did I buy this? A lot of this stuff I got back in December, early December. Like my birthday is December 6th, so that means I've had that Hanifa piece from end of November. Um, the shop cider things, I either got them end of November or December. This I bought in December. Yeah. Um, again, the camera's washing it out a little bit, but it's a very hot pink. If I put, yeah, that's a little bit better. Put it over here, yeah. It's like a hot pink dress, which hot pink is the it color for 2023 apparently, according to Panatone and whoever else. <laughs> So what I like about this that makes it different, one, it's, well, you know what, this is still knee length, right? So it's not really short per se, but it's a very fuzzy material. And it's very static, I'm not going to lie. Every time I pick this up, I get shocked. Sometimes, and then I, I feel like I'm going crazy. I feel like twice when I would pick it up, try it on, I would see the electricity. Like, I would take it off, rip it off, and I see a little, like, quick blue line run across. It's a very staticky piece, so if you hate static, don't get this. But as you can see, it's like fuzzy. Very fuzzy. And when I say she thick, when I say she thick, this is thick. This is heavy. So I'm thinking for Fashion Week, if it's not freezing cold, so let's say it's about 40 degrees out or 50 in the 50s, I might just wear a shirt under this because I don't want it to irritate my skin and just wear this as outerwear because it's so thick and so heavy. I don't, I feel like if I put my coat on with this, I would definitely be hot. Like, definitely be hot. I'm trying to get the real color for you. Um, yeah. So, not much more to say about it other than that she real, real, real thick, real hot. Very fuzzy material, staticky. That's the sleeve. It has a big, like, roll neck, turtleneck. And she's very loose fitting. Again, I got a size 12 because the way my sizing is, is I'm a 12 at the bottom, 10 at the top. So for dresses and bodysuit, jumpsuits, things that have a top and a bottom attached, I go for the higher size so that I can accommodate my hips or whatever. This I didn't realize was so oversized, so I could have done with a 10. But when I went back, the size was sold out. So how I want to wear this so bad for Fashion Week, it just depends on my feet can handle it. So I want to wear this. And I don't know, did I show you guys? Yeah, I think I did. Or this, I definitely showed you on Instagram. Um, my rhinestone thigh high boots that was like all the rage, I'm going to say several months ago. Uh, who had it first? One of these big fashion brands. I don't remember if it was Valentino or Tom Ford, somebody. Uh, Tom Ford, maybe? Somebody who I can't who it'd be responsible for me to buy right now, had it. And then Steve Madden had, to me, the best dupe that didn't, didn't immediately hurt your feet. It looked just like it, but at a good price point. I don't wear those boots often. I wore it last Fashion Week. Um, and I think I want to wear it this Fashion Week. So because this is kind of like knee length and it's a thigh-high boot, like the sweater dress will be there and then the rhinestones will just be coming up just to give it a little flare, a little different coming up from the bottom. If I had a rhinestone or a silver bedazzled bag, like a crossbody bag, that would be perfect, but I do not. 
So I just have to figure out how I'm going to carry my things and my camera and maybe change your shoes because heels all day in the city. Not fun. Um, but yeah, that's the look that I'm really, I've been really excited to try. And like I said, I've had this since December and I've had that look in mind since then. So if I don't get to wear it, at least I get to try it out here and show you guys. So let me know in the comments what you think about this look. Would you wear this kind of big fuzzy sweater dress? And if so, would you pair it with the type of shoes that I paired it with? Um, I could definitely see myself wearing this with like my, I have some brown chunky heel pointy toe thigh high suede boots you know typical thigh high suede boots with a heel I feel like the brown it's like a dark chocolate brown I feel like chocolate brown plus this pink would be so cute together because black is cute too but it's typical typical um, I think the brown would be such a cute touch and a brown crossbody teddy bag which I have that's another look less fashion weeky but more regular um, how else would I style this? Or you style it if you get this dress or a similar dress. You can also put, ooh, like a body. You know how like they have those body harness that looks like belts but like goes around your body? You can wear that with this. And let's say in like a black leather body harness and then some tight leather looking um, black high heel boots. That would be a cute and edgy look. Um... What else? How else can you wear this? You could also wear this with short booties. Ooh, that's static. It just hurts. <laughs> short. Wow. Whenever I put it against me and pull it away, that's the problem. So you've been warned. Um, some short booties maybe that would even work. And like a vest jacket over it since it's so thick already you don't need like a full coat with it sometimes. There's different ways you can style this. So let me know in the comments if any of these ideas you like or if there's another way you can style it. I would love to discuss with you in the comments and see. Um, oh, let me move on. I told you, I told you I'm not trying to talk too much. Um, the next sweater dress I got from ASOS is finally a short one, but one that's not so short that... Um, too much is showing, but it almost is. So I wore this when I did a pop-up shop for my jewelry brand. Um, I did like a holiday pop-up in, where was it? I think it was in Brooklyn. I wore this with, um, from Amazon, I got these tights. Well, I guess they're like stockings, sheer stockings, fishnets. Black fishnet stockings, but they look like sheer stockings from a distance with little tiny crystal rhinestones on it. Um, I did take a quick picture of me in the outfit, so I'll put it off to the side so you can see what I mean. I loved it. I feel like the blingy tights, it just gave it a little pop of holiday, a little pop of bling, a little pop of something so that way I didn't have to wear like thigh high boots. So she's short, not gonna lie. In theory, she's a great length in the front, but when I turned her back, whoo, it was risky. But I did have some like really short shorts that I put on underneath, like they were damn near underwear <laughs> they were really short shorts so at least that covers covered to a point where if I flash the body it was not underwear showing and it was clear that it was shorts um, so I was able to walk around and bend because I had to set up the table break down the table grab some um, supplies from underneath the table I had to do a lot of moving around a lot of bending and I was wearing some black pointy toe booties I think like sheer leggings look with a short outfit and a short Little cute little pointy toe booty. It's such a cute and flirty feminine look. It doesn't always have to be like, you know, over the knee boots sometimes. So I really like that. I have not washed this yet. I actually pulled this out of the laundry to come show you. So if it doesn't wash well, I will report back. But it's ASOS. I don't usually have an issue with their, their knitwear. And the brand is Miss Selfridge's. Miss Selfridge? Miss Selfridge. And I got this size 12. Again, because I wanted to make sure there was enough fabric on the bottom. Oh, and what I love about it is that the fact that it's kind of like A-line at this bottom a little bit. So it's like frilly, flirty, skirt. You can kind of see the ruffles at the bottom. So it kind of like goes straight down and then flares out just, just a little bit. So when you walk, it does that cute little do, 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 do. You know what I'm talking about. Love that. What I didn't care for, because I didn't realize it until it got here. So here's the top. It's high neck, like a mock neck, which I like. I didn't realize only one shoulder, because this is bare. This shoulder has like three heart. Oh, they're real buttons. So I can open it. I didn't realize they were real buttons. Three heart gold buttons. 
I thought it was just plain on both sides. That's how I would prefer. But since they did add buttons, I'm glad they were gold hardware and not silver. But apparently you can really open it. So who knows? Maybe instead if you don't want like a high mock neck, you can maybe fold it over in its flap. I don't know how I feel about that though. That doesn't sound very cute, right? <laughs> but in case that's what you like, or let's say you have a really thick neck and sometimes these high mock necks are a little bit too tight for you, they got you. You can open it up. So I guess that works for that. Um, so yeah, I love the color. I also realized I don't have that much purple. I have some, but not a lot. So I thought purple for the holidays was a nice little different play on color from like the traditional red for Christmas, you know? Um, and purple is the color of royalty. I'm a queen. <laughs> so I love this dress. I would get this dress in another color. Like if it came in like a dark green or if it came in any color non-black or white, I would get it. I would definitely get it. Let me know in the comments what you think about this cute little flirty, frilly dress. Again, um, hopefully I remember, I'll add a link to the rhinestone fishnets from Amazon. The only thing, again, I'm 5'6", I have to really try to get into them things because the crotch area was a little too low, so I had to keep pulling from the toe, keep stretching it without ripping it until I was able to get it to a height that, you know, felt comfortable because, you know, hanging crotch, um, leggings, tight stockings do not feel good. And then when I put the shorts over it, it helped keep everything in place. So keep that in mind. Um, but if you're shorter, you'll be fine. So that is that. I think that's all I have to say about these sweater dresses. Let me know in the comments which of the two sweater dresses, styles, you prefer for your personal style. Just because I'm curious about the people who watch my videos, what's your guys' style? So now on to, I'm almost done. I'm, this is not going to be a long video. I'll do another video that's similar but maybe dedicated to a certain store. So let me go and get my next knit piece, my next jumper, my next sweater. Oh, I know which one I'm going to show you. Love it. That's another one that I've been wearing and wearing it over and over already. So I could tell you how much, how, I can tell you how it wears. So let me go get it. Okay, so for the sake of not making this video too long, I'm only going to show you two more knit pieces and different ways to style it, just because I want to give you different variety. Again, we went to the cardigans, the crop tops, we did the dresses, we did the skirts. Now we're on to, I don't know if you're going to really consider this knit, per se, but it's a sweater. It's a sweater, and it's different than the other ones. So, this sweater I love so much. <sighs> Do I want to give you the long story or the short? I'll give you a really short story, and I'll talk fast. So, this is from a brand, let me just a piece of hair in it called Dope Society Clothing Company which is really not mainly a clothing store but they have clothes on the store obviously but it's an artist a black woman artist so I was looking for some art for my walls as you can probably see in some of these videos my walls are always very plain because I'm very picky about what I want on my walls and I know I definitely wanted some black art I bought them but now I just need to get them framed bear with me uh, and then when I was buying two prints from this black woman artist, because she also was having a Black Friday sale, that's when I bought some of these things. Um, I bought two prints from her in a big size to frame, and then I was like, you know what, that sweater is cute. So I bought this. And I love it! So, we're going to get close. Um, so it is a very good quality, um, I guess crew neck, right? Crew neck sweatshirt. Decent length is like not too long, not too short. Um, the sleeves is nice and long, so I love when people who put their art on apparel make sure that the base is a quality piece. And you can even see the inside is very fleecy like, but not too much, where it's like itchy for your skin. And this is the brand. I got a large, obviously. And here is the prints. Let me just show you slowly so you can see her beauty. Do you see this? Do you see this? And with her prints, she has this print, which I think I got, and another one. Um, and some of her other prints with the jewelry would be gold foil. Some are not. Um, and yeah, I was just holding the print. There's something about a sweatshirt, whether it's a hoodie or a crew neck sweatshirt like this. That's, you know, to me, I feel like any gender can wear it. Um, and the print is just like set it off. I feel like if this was in like a sweater, like a girly sweater, I wouldn't have liked it as much. But with the fact that it's in such a very black, 
face, crew neck. So there's no distraction. It's just like, bam, it's her. Look at, look at her. Look at the detail. Hopefully the sun is not bouncing too much light and making some areas look more white than it is. But look at her. Look at her little hair wrap and her Fulani style earrings. She cute, right? Love this. I wear this all the time. So far I haven't really dressed it up, but I plan to also dress it up. I mainly wear this if I'm like hanging out with some friends. Um, we're just, you know, chilling at home, chilling inside, and I want something cute but very comfortable. I'll throw this on. If we're just running out to grab some food real quick to bring back or just to have a quick bite somewhere, I'll throw this on with, like, my baggy jeans or my black tight skinny jeans and some boots. Just so it could be, like, a sleek black-on-black -black look. How else have I worn this? I think I wore this with, like, jeans. Yeah, and I plan to also maybe wear it. I feel like I have some pants that might be similar color to either her lips or something. I have some boots coming in the mail that's very similar color to her headband. So I'm thinking if I could find like the perfect mini skirt, put this on over the mini skirt, maybe like a patent leather mini skirt, and then it's a thigh high boots or over the knee boots this color. Pair it with that. Oh, that's gonna be cute. So again, follow me on Instagram so you can see some of these looks that'll be coming up. And promise to post them. Um, so yeah, I love this. And what makes it extra special to me is that it that an artist, a black woman artist, but an artist put their work on a t-shirt for me to enjoy. So I don't only have to I don't only see her art when I have it finally put it up on my wall, but I can also walk around and show her art heart show whoa, why can't I speak? Show her art off to the world and style it up which is another form of art, so I can combine her art plus my art, which is just like how I express myself through clothing, together. I just love that, and I just made that up. <laughs> so I love this sweatshirt so much. Again, it may not be classical knitwear, but it's a sweater. And I told you I was showing you different ways to style different sweaters this year, so that way, you know, we have all these fresh looks, all these different looks while we get through the winter. So the last piece I'm gonna show you is, you know, an easy sweater to find, you know, if it's not this exact one, something similar is definitely out there in the market. And that is a cropped, big, thick, turtleneck sweater. And why I like these, in a very neutral color, because I'm a bright girl. I like bright colors, as you can see the orange, you can see the print on that sweater, as you can see from, if you follow me on Instagram, I love bright colors. But sometimes there's something just so clean and sleek and crisp about neutrals, right? So I realized I didn't really have a neutral in this color, in this shape. So from that same Zara sale, wow, this is a small? I haven't been a small since huh, middle school and early high school. Um, but I think it's because this was the only one I saw in this sale. I paid $19.99. Again, this is a small. I would have preferred a medium, but I figured because it's a crop and it's oversized, that's the thing, it's an oversized sweater. Oh, actually, the turtleneck is not as thick as I thought, but still, I love this shape where, okay, so you see how it's high neck, right? And how it's kind of like wide at the bottom and then it's just like a straight cut across. So then when you wear it and it's oversized, it kind of just falls instead of being like, like how this sweater or how my orange crop sweater the band at the bottom is fitted to your body. I was looking for a cropped, thick knit sweater that's just loose and just hanging out there. Because I find when I wear things like this, again, cropped, the cropped version, and because it's so, you know, thick, because it's a knitwear, this plus some high waist skinny pants, whether it's pants like the ones I'm wearing, or my black skinny jeans, or some black skinny pants, because I've been investing in some black skinny pants, so like, non-jeans but high waist with a little bit of flair at the bottom just like wear them with heels and it's more elevated look than jeans i feel like black high waisted plus black shoes plus a neutral color crop knit that kind of just like you know not tight at the bottom i don't know how to explain it but it's just something that look is just so cute to me and whenever i see girls wear it and they dress it up they do their hair they do their makeup they put it on like a neutral color crop that's not tight at the bottom plus something that's skinny as pants to me and heels I don't know it always just gives money it gives rich it's like hey 
I'm very stylish, I'm very chic. I got a little coin in my pocket. So this is my casual model off-duty look. I didn't try too hard, but it looks like I did. I don't know why my mind went there, but that's what I think when I see things, outfits like that. So I wanted this sweater for that outfit. And I like outfits like that for like, when, let's say you're going on a date, right? Maybe some of y'all out there dating. Um, you want to, it's a casual day, so you don't want to dress up too much where you're just like trying too hard just to grab a burger, but you also don't want to just wear like your jeans and a regular sweater because, you know, that's your everyday too casual. So you want something that's casual, but elevated casual, chic casual. I feel like this is the kind of look for that. It's high neck, so it's like, you know, if you don't know him like that yet, you're not trying to show too much cleavage, which if you do, that's fine, because I like to too. But sometimes you just want something a little covered up, or it's cold. Some skinny jeans high waist so you know your shape is still showing show what you're working with and some heels and I feel like it's just it's just a classic classy look and I feel like this would also be really cute with like a knit skirt like how I showed you that blue knit skirt when I do my Zara video I'll just show you everything else I got I got other sweaters other knitwear I have like a black knit skirt that's like you know fitted I think that would look cute too um how else would this be cute with this would even be cute if you're more of the baggy girl, you know, you like your clothes very loose fitting, you like mom jeans, boyfriend fit jeans, I feel like a slouchy, wide leg or wide fitting jeans, or cargo pants, plus this is also a really good look because even though the bottoms are very tomboyish and more, I don't want to say masculine because it's still feminine and dainty, but it's just baggy, something about this being cropped adds a feminine touch. Um, I also like how in this particular one, it has a cuffed sleeve, and it's a long sleeve, so I really love that because sometimes sweaters are like this, and you see my wrist is here, all that space, so I like a long sleeve, and if you're a girl with like extra, extra long arms, it's like just, you know, the cuff is only being held together by a little string, you could always snip that on both sides, and now you have an extra long sleeve, so I love that for the long-limbed girls. Um, so yeah, I don't know what color you call this. It's kind of like an oatmeal, right? Oatmeal color, not quite beige. Not brown, oatmeal-y. Again, I got this in a small because that's all I could find. So just imagine this was like a medium. This would be better. Uh, let me know in the comments if this is more your style, if like all the colors were just a little too much, but something that's cute like this was more your style, I would love to know. Um, and I think that's what I'm going to show you for this video. So just a quick 10 second recap. We got the cropped cozy knit with a little bit of cutout and how to style that. I feel like that's definitely classic for your wardrobe. The maxi cardigan oversized cozy. Definitely a staple for your wardrobe. I love that. That's like if nothing else from this video, make sure you have one of those. Um, show you how to style that. What else did we talk about? We talked about the knit skirts and why you can have them in your closet to, you know, mix things up, mix up your bottoms in the winter and still be warm. Put them on boots and it's like no skin is showing. You can even put on tights or leggings underneath, nobody would know. So you're still extra warm, but you look cute. Um, we did, what else did we do? Sweater dresses and not just the typical, oh, they're on my leggings and boots and go, but like a very big, fuzzy one that can also be outerwear depending on how cold it is where you live. Oh, we have the mini dresses and how to style those with either thigh high boots or with bedazzled tights. That's really cute. And we got the, I guess you would call this like a graphic or art sweatshirt. So like a classic sweatshirt cut with a piece of art on it. And it could either be words if you're more into words, something that inspires you or if you're more into graphics or something abstract, whatever, um, but something printed on it. That's another way to wear like a sweater to be different than, you know, other outfits. And a cropped, but not fitted, cropped blousy jumper because that would high waist anything. It's such a cute and classic look. So those are the ones I wanna to highlight today. That's what I've been wearing. That's what I'm gonna keep wearing. That's kind of like my style and the, I guess the formula, so I know as long as I have something like that, I can always pull from my basics in my closet and put together an outfit because they all go together. So that's it for my video today. Please let me know if you like it, if you like some of the outfits that I shared. If you didn't, don't tell me. It's 
keep it positive. Um, and I would love to hear what you would wear or how you would style something differently or maybe something I didn't think of. You'd be like, girl, if you pair this with that or with that, that'd be even better. Let me know. Let's discuss. Follow me over on Instagram. And again, the links for things will be in the description box below. And I will see you here in my next video. Don't forget to please like this video if you did. And subscribe because I'm trying to grow this channel. And over the last few years, it's a slow slow progression so every like every comment every view every rewatch every share means the world to me and thank you and if you made it this far into the video i appreciate you i hope you have an amazing rest of your week and i'll see you later bye